Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another Greatest Paper Airplanes lesson. Today, when you launch Greatest Paper Airplanes, once again, make sure you're at the 150, 175, or 200%. Make sure you've got the settings enabled, and if you don't have those things, you can watch the movie I'll put up here in the corner where I taught you how to get to it. So without any further ado, let's get cracking. Remember that it is run in a simulator, so you'll see it always steals your cursor, and you have to use Escape to get it back. Double click Greatest Paper Airplanes, and then once again, I'll remind you that I have muted the tab so I don't have the music. To do that, all you do is right click, and you can tell mine's muted because of that little crossed out speaker in the top corner. Today, I'm going to send you towards another one of my very favorite planes. This one, when we go to the planes, we are going to find the darts, and we're going to choose one called the Marlin. When you click the plane, you see all the choices, and right here is the Marlin. As they tell you, it is a simple variation on the classic. It works great with medium to heavy letter size paper, and it can be thrown hard and fast, especially with the addition of a paper clip on the nose. I'm gonna tell you that I'm not gonna allow paper clips in my classroom. You can do that at home, where you have more of an open space to fly. This plane is simple at this point, where you just simply fold it over, and then you do the standard tip like we do on a normal plane. But I'm going to show you a spot where it gets a little bit tricky so that you can see how I help my students. Once again, still standard, standard. Everything's just going the way you would expect. This is important. They tell you how far down you should do it. It's about two finger widths below that little peak. Make sure you always read those notes as they help you. And then when you come back, once again, it is about two fingertips to go back the other way. And what this is going to do is create the awesome pocket that we use to make our wings more fancy. This is where students often get stuck. And what I always teach them is to do the part that you know happens. So as we watch this go across, we know that this edge right here connects all the way down the side. So start all the way up the tip and fold it so that edge is staying down. And then as this comes over, stick your finger inside this pocket and it lets you fold that down so it connects. So let me actually show you that happening. Once again, this side we know comes right to this edge. So I start all the way up here with the part that I know happens. And I'm creasing that once again as sharp as I can all the way down. And then here's where that po pocket starts to form. And you just work your way down slowly, creasing until finally that pocket starts to show up and you make it into the little triangle that lets you fold it and make that awesome wing. Once you start to connect the dots on these folds and how sharp your creases need to be, your planes start to turn out so much more epic. Do the same thing on the other side. I know this piece comes down, so I do the part that I know works, get it creased nice, and then as this comes down, that pocket starts to open, and you're able to make that cool fold that makes the Marlin the Marlin. Alright friends, the rest of this finish is just like this. Now you flip it over and make the halves come together. Then you simply spin it around and follow the instructions on the left for how to make the perfect wings for your Marlin. And just like that, you've created the awesome Marlin. Alrighty friends, so there you have the awesome Marlin folded really slick with a couple of extra little steps that I showed you with my hands actually doing the video. If you're in my classroom and flying this, remember that sometimes adding those cool little winglets either down or up can really help your flight and then also curving your wings and changing the angle, finding the proper angle to get the amount of lift to get your plane to fly as far as you can across the room. If you are in my room, remember the rules. We only throw down the one aisle and then after we pick up our plane, we come back through the middle so we're not walking into the flight path of our partners friends if you found this useful please hit that like button if you've got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below if you found a sweet plane i should be showing you add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching happy flying